would you do that? There's a spider. There was a spider. How about you just, like, talk death on video? I don't know, you can't say death on video. That's not good. That causes videos not to be posted quickly. So, good morning, Fraser. Yes, uh, Allie. We yes, we've we've had uh, an interesting morning so far. Uh, a the spider, but that was pretty minor. But uh, <clears throat> I had a good sleep, slept well. Allie comes upstairs, and I can hear the urgency in her voice. But she's she's saying, um, Rick. Uh, can I borrow you for a minute? But, you know, it's got that urgency to it that it's like, mm, I need you now. Turns out Carol put the, uh, you know, those heat bags, those, those, uh, bean filled magic heat bags. bags. What's that? Magic bags in the microwave, folded over, and we have no idea how long it was put in for, but, uh, it was cooked. Like, it was cooked, it was charred, it was smoking all over the place. Uh, it left a bunch of oil in the bottom of the microwave, which really surprised me a little bit because I didn't even know that. I guess, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, sure. It does cause that. Nonetheless, uh, yeah, it come down, had to, and it was hot. The microwave itself was hot, so yeah, there was a fire in it, right? Like it was, uh, it was a good fire, so. No damage to the house, no damage to anybody. Um, you know, my fingers got a little, you know, warm. But other than that, it was fine. <clears throat> I'll show you the carnage outside when we go. It's because I just took it right outside and, and then uh, ripped the uh, bag out and, and hosed it off. It took about five, five minutes. Yeah, to, to hose the thing down, but still. Anyway, that was our morning so far. And the house has a wonderful aroma of uh, not quite smoked fish, but smoked something. <laughs> ah, let's get the day going. Part three of the motorbike today. Okay. Wouldn't it be your idle screw? I, I don't know. I got the Tim seal of approval, so I was pretty happy with that. This is what my boss is doing right now. I'm looking up important <laughs> Thank you. 
told you, he makes me do manual labor and grab the tool. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. Okay. What don't you understand? I get this one. Okay. Ah. Is it in on that side? Or is it not in on that side? It's in on this side. It's uh, it's it's on a downward angle, so I think it's gonna be if 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 I may. Yep, there. And it should go up. That's not the side I'm trying to put in. You're trying to get this side? I'm trying to get that side in so I can get the spring on. Are they not both? Oh, no, they're not. That's oh, 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 I had it in this side, and then I struggled to get it out of this side to get it into that side. Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I do remember doing this, though. I do remember it being a pain in the butt. Yeah. On the, uh, the KLR as well as, or the 650 as well. So Tim's struggling a little bit with the, with the uh, carb, which are, they're always a pain. They're always a pain to get back in, I find, on motorbikes. Because it'll fit on one side, but you got to get it to the other side first kind of thing, right? And it shouldn't have anything to do with the position of the engine, because it's already, it's got that screw, or that bolt, that bolt, and those bolts in. There are some bolts to go up here as well, but I can't see that being the issue. It's possible, but I don't think so. Because there's no way it's going to torque the bike together that much, just those bolts there. This is pretty flimsy. But yeah, they, I, I've, I've worked on this one several times for the carb. And I've worked on uh, my KLR 650. And uh, yeah, they're a pain. So, Tim, uh, Tim is very much like me. Tim's very much like me and he gets frustrated. And so he takes a break, blocks away. He'll come back and uh, come at it with a fresh set of eyes, kind of thing, right? But he's also very much like me in the sense that he doesn't want me touching it because it's a challenge for him now and he's got to complete that challenge because otherwise it's like he's defeated. And that's, I'm the, exactly the same way. You know, it's, uh, it's quite funny actually. Not much left to do this thing, man. You get the car bone. Really, that's it. Did you get her in yet? No, not quite. Okay, sorry. Shouldn't have asked. It was a loaded question. Give me the whole bike. Which way? Forward or back? Forward. Okay. Give me a labor. Give me a labor. We're just looking to tighten up bolts and attaching the rest of the bolts. And he said something about, I don't know, gum and duct tape, and then we're going to try and start it. I don't know. What do you want me to do? What do you need me to do? I don't know. That's why I wanted you. Oh, okay. That's fine. Well, I'm going to need, uh, we're going to need, both need ratchets, right? So let's get some ratchets. Let's say 3 8 ratchets. Or do you want to say? I've got a 3 8 ratchet. I will get another 3 8 ratchet. What size bolts are we touching? Um, oh, no. Okay. The big one has to be the half inch that I had yep. earlier. You got that right there? I've got right here. What, uh, what size do you think? It is... It's what I got right here for this side of it. No, 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 but for the, the other one, it's the small one. Oh, wait, no, that's the... It's 
So 17 for the small ones, 7, seven eighths for the big ones. Yeah, I'll be surprised actually because you, you were able to just loosen it off straight from there. So. Is it there Nope. Yeah, exactly. That's it. I don't know how tight to make these. I don't think you loosened it that much. I'm going to go to that side. This one here. Okay. Okay, I don't have that. So, dude, I got like a 17 here. Right there. Oh, I know you. It's on the rack. Oh. Told you what I had. Her. Okay. Oh, there you go. I'm doing a great job. Okay. Okay. Now I need a smaller one. Well, I'll get the right size here. Do that. Which one's the right size? <sighs> um, okay. So. Did I stick my big head in the way? I think I did. Constance. Constance isn't here. I don't know how that happened then. Oh, sorry, did your audience not want to... Did you not want your audience to know that? Well, it's too late now. So... One, two, three. One, that one, and that one. Yeah. So now we just now. got the, the front triangle and the upper triangle. Uh, and what size are those? Um, those look like about a 14 or so. Maybe. No, 12, I mean. It's 12, 12. Oh. Yeah, that's 12. Yeah, that's 12. That's what I said. 12. Kids always putting words in my mouth. See? Menial labor. Menial labor. I just hold things. Actually, I might not even need you. It's never hurt so much before. Man, just cut deep. Engine is in. I like the fact that it says Kickstarter. That way you know what part it is. Good. They should all be named like that. Piston cylinder head. Crankcase. Don't. What? I didn't. You were moving to do it. No, I was not. You had your hand on the handlebar. Yeah, but just to lean on there. I wasn't, I wasn't, okay. You had your hand open. You can't say that you wouldn't have expected me to do the same thing. goes yeah is questionable hmm. how do you know it was in second gear dude you went all the way down did you because you went down once and then you went and it's also not doing that much, so I think you're wrong Really good. Do you want to tighten up the, uh, the hose clamp?
up on that? Sure. Oh, Neil, let me know. I got Actually, <laughs> I don't want to let him do that, but I want to put the <laughs> bearings on because I don't want him to touch the bearings. So. Ow. I know. It's hurtful, but you know, he's letting you do something. Take it. I don't know how he gets such a controlling pot. What? Where you get that whole control freak thing. Yeah, I don't know where it comes from. The whole thing green. itching to get out of here tonight. So, you know, we're able to clean this up tonight, but okay. tomorrow, for sure. Yeah. Has to be done tomorrow. Or I will beat you with an inch or two. Is that on video? What's that? Is that on video? I can edit that. <laughs> you guys hear that? No? Okay. There's not on this oh. All right. I do want you to hold this up. It's been a while. Sounds really good. <laughs> Very happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It runs. <laughs> Seems to start a little easier than the last one, too, eh? He just motioned me out of the way. One. You gotta take at least one. I'm making a, I'm, I'm making him do a photo bomb with me. Thing, if that makes sense. And it's possible you need to increase your your idle screw a little bit. That is all for sure. Right. All right. I, uh, this is a success. This is a great, uh, a great successful day. Very, very good. There we go. Hey, Priest. Hope your day went well today, bud. I still smell like smoke. You know, I think it's in my hair. I don't know. It's hard to say. Maybe I'm just imagining the smell of it. But, nonetheless, did a dump run with a bunch of stuff, but also took the microwave to the dump because it was toast. Um... Then uh, I actually went and did, uh, I helped somebody out with a little bit of yard work, but uh, it was very minor and I didn't really, uh, I didn't take any video of that.
because I had the rest of this video. Part three of the bike. Yay! It ran. <laughs> oh man, it's just so much panic, right? You know, he was so looking forward to this bike. He, it, he was so bummed when it, when it uh, blew last year. And it just sat there for months and months and months. Finally, he was like, okay, boom. He's back in the mindset again. He bought the engine. But you never know, man. You never know. And then the engine gets here, and the engine is damaged from shipping, right? Oh, and all I'm thinking, I'm just praying, like, please let it start, Lord. Please let it start, Lord. Because we can get all this work done, and there was no guarantees it would work, right? So, fortunately, it turned over really easy, really quick. He did have some adjustments. We, we put in some uh, seafoam. No, no, We put in some seafoam as well. Um... We poured some in the tank as well as spraying some in the uh, through the air cleaner just to clean it out a little bit. Uh, we were worried that the jets might be a little bit clogged because um, it was it was dying on them just when it was uh, when it was at idle. <clears throat> but we wound up. He thought he was adjusting the. Uh, he's he's not all that familiar with carburetors and stuff yet, so he, he thought he was adjusting the idle screw, but he was actually adjusting the idle mixture screw. Um, so when I showed him the idle screw, you know, we turned that up a little bit. It's working fine. Sounds great. Sounds way better than his old engine did. Uh, he's very pleased with it. He's very happy. It's very cool. I'm glad that it's working for him and stuff. So he's already got on a couple rides with a couple buddies and stuff. So, <laughs> so I hope you didn't mind waiting for part three to find out that, yeah, <clears throat> after all the preparation, it works. And it works well. Uh, and he's very happy with it. So. I'm, I'm, he did a great job, you know, he's, I mean, I know he's a mechanic, I know he's a professional, and I know he knows what he's doing, but, eh, I can't help being proud of him, you know, he did a great job, so, so, yeah, that's the video for the day, it's done, it's there, sweet, done, other Bible's still in the car, I didn't bring it in yesterday from church, and so I've just got this one, my old one, I like this one too. Writing's a whole lot smaller in this one. The font is tiny. I wasn't looking for my glasses. I was not looking for my glasses. I was just tapping. That's all. You can't prove otherwise. <laughs> ah, all right, where are we? We are way up here. All right, so yesterday we started in Acts 25. And... Uh, he was before Festus at this point. He's already been before the Sanhedrin, before Felix, before the governor. He's been before everybody, really. Uh, so now he's before this guy, uh, or actually Festus. He's been before Festus now, yesterday. And now we're starting in verse 13. A few days later, King Agrippa and Bernice arrived from Caesarea to pay their respects to, to Festus. Since they were spending many days there, Festus discussed Paul's case with the king. He said, There's a man here whom Felix left as a prisoner. When I went to Jerusalem, the chief priests and elders of the Jews brought charges against him and asked that he be condemned. I told them that it is not Roman custom to hand over any man before he has faced his accusers and has had an opportunity to defend himself against the charges. When they came here, I did not delay the case, but convened the court uh, the next day and ordered the man to be brought in. Uh, when his accusers got up to speak, they did not charge him with any crimes I expected him, them to. Instead, they had some points of dispute with him about their own religion and about a dead man named Jesus, who Paul claimed was alive. I was at a loss of how to investigate such matters, so I asked if he would be willing to go to Jerusalem. Uh, when Paul made his appeal to be held over for the emperor's decision, I ordered him to be held and I, uh, until I could send him to uh, Caesar. Then Agrippa said to Festus, I would like to hear this man for myself. Tomorrow you'll hear. The next day, Agrippa and Bernice came with great pomp and entered the audience room with the high-ranking officers and the leading men of the city. At the command of Festus, Paul was brought in. Festus says, King Agrippa and all who are present with us, you see this man, the whole Jewish community, has pet petitioned me about him in Jerusalem and here in Caesarea, shouting that he ought not to live any longer. I found the, he had done nothing deserving of death, but because he made his appeal to the emperor, I decided to send him to Rome. But I have nothing definite to write to his majesty about, Therefore, I have brought him before you all, and especially before you, King Agrippa, that as a result of this, this investigation, I may have something to write. For I think it is unreasonable to send a prisoner without specifying the charges against him. Huh. Well, that's a novel idea, isn't it? 
And then Agrippa said to Paul, You have permission to speak for yourself. So Paul motioned with his hand and began his defense. King Agrippa, I consider myself fortunate to stand before you today as I make my defense against all the accusation of the Jews, and especially so because you are well acquainted with the Jewish customs and controversies. Therefore, I beg you to listen to me patiently. The Jews know how I lived since I was a child. Uh, from the beginning of my life in my own country and also in Jerusalem, they have known me for a long time. They can testify, if they are willing, that according to the strictest sect of the, our religion, I lived as a Pharisee. And now it is because of my hope in what God has promised our fathers that I am on trial today. He goes on to tell Paul again about the, uh, the experiences that he had on the road to uh, Damascus. Uh, and then he says, uh, I preached to the, to the Gentiles that they should repent and turn to God and prove their repentance by their deeds. And that is why the Jews seized me in the temple courts and tried to kill me. But I have had God's help to this very day. So I stand here and I testify to small and great alike. I am saying nothing beyond what the prophets and Moses said would happen. That the Christ would suffer and as the first to rise from the dead would proclaim light to his own people and to the Gentiles. At this point, Festus interrupted Paul's defense. You are out of your mind, Paul, he shouted. Your great learning is driving you insane. I am not insane, most excellent Festus, Paul replied. What I am saying is true and reasonable. The king is familiar with these things, and I can speak freely to him. I am convinced that none of this has escaped his notice, because it was not done in a corner. King Agrippa, do you believe the prophets? I know you do. Then Agrippa said to Paul, Do you think that in such a short time you can persuade me, persuade me to be a Christian? Paul replied, Short time or long, I pray God that not only you, but all who are listening to me today, may become what I am, except for these chains. The king rose, and with him the governor and Bernice, and those sitting with them. They left the room, and while talking with one another, they said, This man is not doing anything that deserves death or imprisonment. Agrippa said to Festus, This man could have been set free if he had not appealed to Caesar. So Paul's telling his testimony. Paul continues to tell his testimony exactly what's going on, exactly what happened, and exactly what he's preaching. This, seemed, this is a very consistent theme. And he's talking, so he started out with the Jewish people. Uh, they didn't want anything to do with him, so he went to the Gentiles, which God told him to do. And from then on, the Jews hated him. He, they arrested him. And now he's starting to go up the chain, and he's preaching to uh, governors, kings, politicians, anybody that'll listen. And he's not going to stop. He's just going to keep preaching. So, we'll end there for today. Uh, we're almost done Acts, another couple chapters, but, you know, I don't want to, I like the next chapter. The next chapter is fun, so we'll wait and see what that goes on uh, tomorrow, so. Ah, yes. But again, Paul cannot stop preaching about Jesus Christ, because Jesus is real, legitimate. He will not deny it. He continues to preach, no matter what it's going to cost him, and it's going to cost him his life. Love you, buddy. I miss you. Look forward to seeing you soon. And I will post more tomorrow.